What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp plugin review. Uh, this extension helps you round off corners and also bevel edges. This week's extension is called Round Corner. So plugin name, Round Corner. Plugin developer, Fredo6. How much does it cost? It's free. Please remember to donate to your developer. Where do you get it? It's located in the Sketchication warehouse. You can also follow the link at the sketchupessentials.com slash round corner. Please note that in order for this extension to work, you're probably also going to have to download Fredo 6's library. That is also free. This tool is a plugin designed to help you create rounded and beveled corners. As with most Fredo 6 extensions, it has a number of options that allow you to see what your changes will look like in real time. You can simply select an object and then round off all the corners in the object. You can also select individual faces and corners to round off if that's what you want to do. The extension allows you to set the offset for rounding and the plugin will provide you a preview of how large the offset is. You can also set the number of segments that are created in your round edges, allowing you to easily manage the number of faces you create in your model. This extension has three basic functions. Round corner in 3D, sharp corner in 3D, and bevel. Round corner and sharp corner are very similar. The difference is the way that they actually handle intersecting corner geometry. Round corner creates a curve on the exterior corners, while sharp corner brings the corners to a point. There's no real right or wrong on these two options. It's more just a personal preference of how you want things to look. Bevel will take the edges of the faces selected and create a simple bevel a single diagonal cut instead of a rounding effect. This can be really good for creating rounded corner looks without creating a whole lot of extra geometry. Usefulness and functionality. This extension is great for taking shapes and rounding them off so they look finished. It's easy to use and has a lot of options. The only thing to be careful of is to watch the number of faces you're creating in your model when you round things off. Value. This extension is free so there's no reason to not download it and try it out. Please remember to donate to the developer. You can find that link in the link to the Sketchication page where you can find the extension. Ease of use and documentation. This is a fairly easy to use plugin. I found it fairly intuitive. There are a number of options in the menu that I didn't really need, but it's really easy to skip over them and just kind of do what you want. I had no problem figuring out how to use this plugin. So that's where we're going to wrap up this plugin overview. I'll leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you're using this extension, if you like it, if you don't like it. Love to have a SketchUp conversation with you guys. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. And if you really like what I'm doing, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, that basically supports me and helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. Some of these extensions and plugins aren't free and that just kind of helps me offset the cost of working with some of these. Um, in either case, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.